a 1,000 km endurance race on an unforgiving mountain circuit, the Bathurst 1000 is the ultimate supercar battleground, and Walkinshaw and Dritty United are aiming for back-to-back -back victories. From the first practice to qualifying to the top 10 shootout, who's going to be quickest there, and then the gruelling race for over six hours. Bathurst is the holy grail of Australian motorsport, and you know there's something going to be etched in history. Everyone knows how special that mountain is and that racetrack is. Uh, and there's not a single person who's involved in motorsport in this country that doesn't want to, at some point in their career, be involved in either as a team or as a driver standing on the top step of that podium at 6pm on a Sunday afternoon in October. Under the Holden Racing banner, the team won seven times on Mount Panorama. Nick Perkat remembers how he helped them to victory as Garth Panda's co-driver back in 2011. Probably no idea how he did it. <laughs> During my first stint it was like, uh, Nick, we need you to go faster, and I was just petrified. I'll never forget the car coming down pit lane for the first time. Driver change goes well, which was the first tick, and then I think the last hour or so when I was back in the pits watching on the monitors, I was getting paler by the moment, realising what was happening, one of the closest finishes we had at Bathurst at the time, and then being an Adelaide boy to win it, and the first rookie in 30 odd years, it was just unbelievable. It took another 10 years, but in last season's race, the team scored win number eight. The 2021 Bathurst 1000 winner is Chaz Moster. For the whole team and their boss, the son of original founder Tom Walkinshaw, it was a day to remember. That mountain is really what brought my dad into Australia. The businesses that we are today still stems from that one weekend when my dad decided he was going to go and race a Jag on that mountain with a bunch of Aussies. So it's got a, a big sentimental value to me. Winning Bathurst always means a lot to everyone but it's especially important to me and my family when we manage to do it. At Bathurst, you need so many things to go right and not necessarily always the fastest car around there wins the race, but the, the car and the team performed unbelievable all day, didn't put a foot wrong and I'm um, very proud and one of my highlighted career wins. Mostert and Perkat's victories, although a decade apart, will provide vital experience as they lead two Holden Commodore crews on the mountain once again. It's unreal to race a supercar around there. You've got a nice big heavy supercar floating across the top of the mountain. And then you're trying to pull it up, coming down the hill through the S's, come into the, the dipper there. It's just all these corners are just hero corners. And you see the first lap time come up on the dash and you're probably five, six seconds away from where you need to be. And you go, how am I going to go faster than that? Driving back there is scary. You never feel like you do the perfect lap. It doesn't matter if you're fast or slow, the effort to do the lap and the risk level is absolutely huge and it just feels like you're floating with a little bit of grip and you're just managing the car to the walls and maximising the track limits you have and it's one where every time you cross the line, even in the race, you're like, okay, let's uh, gear up for another lap here. There is 99 things that can go wrong for you there and one thing that can go right. I've been lucky enough to do it a couple of times now and, and obviously Nick's been lucky to do it as well, but you always think, like, I've done it once, I can do it again, but geez, it can just hurt you for so many years. The 11th event of 13 on this year's Supercars calendar, it's a championship in itself and will leave one team claiming a place in mountain history. Something very special when you bring the Peter Brock trophy into the workshop and it sits there for 12 months before. So unfortunately, you've got to pry it out of your hands to go back to the track to see who's going to win it the following year. The team's full of confidence going into this year. We know we had a quick car there last year. I think anyone's a shot for it, but yeah, we're definitely in the mix. I think. Even winning a championship, I'm not sure it would come close to what you'd feel in that last hour and, and the emotion of crossing the line driving the car. To win it again, being the main guy, would be the best achievement of my career by a long, long way. It's a game of survival. And it's very, very important that we go in humble and focus on doing all the small things right because you only need one mistake and it ruins your whole race weekend there. Fingers crossed, but yeah, we uh, definitely want to win it again.